Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Isrock Sant and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 11 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. called All the Comforts of Home. And this was a, a really good episode. I really liked it right off the bat. So I'm going to tell you, is that like, to me, it was an A-plus episode. So let's just jump into all the things that happened. So we start off with uh, General Hale. Uh, this is out her daughter. And I think her name is Ruby. If I'm wrong, please uh, correct me down below. And um, basically says, like, why did she sk uh, uh, skip school or skip her lessons and all this other stuff? And she's like, I didn't really feel like it. Then she goes, Mom, are you a good guy? And um, she technically didn't answer and just gave, like, a very political correct answer saying that, uh, uh, I don't an I answer to someone. I don't, I just follow directions. <laughs> what kind of cop out is that? So then we cut to where the team is home and then we see a hologram, a hologram of a uh, Rick Stoner, which is the, I think that's the guy that voices Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. I'm pretty sure that's the same guy. Anyway, it's um, a super, super old hologram from the 1970s. And then uh, we cut to where Daisy is awake and then Fitz and May go to investigate the lighthouse and see what it's about and see what's there. So then they find the monolith, or monoliths, I should say. There's multiple ones. And then they run into Noah, which is like Eloch or Enoch. Yeah, Enoch. And he's a sentient being and that whole shebang. And so they go along with him and they um, see that he monitors potential threats. And then when May looks on a separate computer, they see a potential threat. They see a light um, in the sky. So they think that um, an alien is trying to make contact. So they go to investigate. But Daisy wants to stay put because she doesn't want to be in that um, area because of everything that's happened. She doesn't want to risk it and have the whole world implode. It's her fault. So then uh, we find out that the lighthouse has a bunch of secret passageways, like a ton of them, so they can just pop out at different random locations. And so they go out and um, they see, well, Colson sees a rundown minivan and uh, Max um, said, um, I'll, I'll bootleg it and steal it if we return it. <laughs> So they do that, and they're driving around, and then Daisy is on the computer, and they notice that they're on the most wanted on everything on the planet. They're the most wanted people ever. And um, the team runs into a cop, but the cop, um, there was no issue. He'll say, that dude's been trying to sell that minivan forever. How how <laughs> how bad was the price? And so Matt kind of played it off and did his job. Actually covered like really good. And he says like y'all have a nice day. And he just like goes away. And then we cut to where Deke is also there now. So this is funny. <laughs> like super funny. Uh, he literally breathes in. He's so excited to be home. As the also the team did when they first got back. And he literally hugs a tree and runs into a lady. He's just like. Oh, it's a beautiful tree, but uh, maybe you'll come down from the drugs soon. Bye. <laughs> so he does that, and then he sees a... Well, first he's about to take an ice cream out of a trash can, about to eat it. Then he sees a bar, and then he goes to the bar and tries beer. He hates it. Then he gets a uh, name brand beer. I, I forgot the name of it. It starts with a V, like a Vimo or something. And he gets drunk off his ass. So drunk. And, uh, he literally, then he's like, uh, cheeseburger, onion rings, everything that's crap. And then he literally has no money because he, he's used to credits, but he doesn't have any credits. And so he tries to leave, then he passes out. And <laughs> then we cut to the team, I uh, find the bus and they get on the, or I guess the Zephyr 1. And then we cut to where Colson is playing off his injury with May when, He's been playing off the entire episode. He's like, it's fine. It's fine. I just got a headache. It's fine. It's, everything's great. So then we cut to where someone is summoning the Creed because they um, play back the video and they notice that it's not coming down. It's actually going up. So they, they think someone's trying to communicate with the Creed because it's the same device. 
Then we go to where Mac and Yo-Yo talk, and then Deke is in jail thanks to Daisy's um, work around with Pingin and trying to do locations and stuff, and that popped up. And so uh, Daisy gets to bail him out against the wishes of Noah, saying that's not a good idea. We don't interfere, but she's like, I gotta go bust him out. Then we cut to where the team is at the facility, and they only see one person, so they open the door, and it's Piper. And then we cut to where Deke is drunk as F at the police station, and then Daisy comes in and bails him out, or is beginning to bail him out, and talking to the cops, and then we get a notification from the army that they know that S.H.I.E.L.D. has been spotted. So they assemble a team, and then we cut to back to the facility where the beacon's about to go off again. And then we cut to where Daisy finally bails them out, but they can't leave until she fills out the paperwork. Then we cut to where Fitz actually turns off the machine and knows that everything is kind of man-made. And then Piper betrayed them and is working with the government. And then... Um, when the person comes in and tells them to kill everybody, uh, Pepper is kind of shocked because she thought it was just, um, a, you know, just bring him in and not to actually take him out. So she uh, goes back on the, uh, she switches sides again. So she's back with the Coulson and covers them. And then turns out the, um, the people that were with the uh, woman are robots. So they get rid of the robots. Then, um, the girl is throwing some type of... It's like a Xena Warrior Princess um, circle thingy. Like a... I don't know, like a frisbee type thing. Anyway. And so Yo-Yo uh, goes to save Mac because it shows aiming towards Mac and her arms uh, get chopped off. Like insane. And then uh, they escape. And then Yo-Yo um, is in surgery. Then Hale is mad at Ruby. And turns out Ruby was the girl in the mask. And, um, she said, like, well, at least the beacons want to do its job. And so they go, then we cut to where they put the beacon near the monolith. And then Noah says to, um, says that it's heating up and tells them to run for it. And he literally jumps on top of it to, um, save, um, Fitz. And it blows up. And so does Noah. And then we cut to where Hale, uh, recruits Creel and, and he joins He's, she's putting together a team, and she joins. He joins the team. What a episode! That was a crazy episode. I freaking loved it. It was hysterical. Deke was just hugging a tree like a dum dum. It was funny, but I mean, it's understandable because he's from a post-apocalyptic world, and it's not used to it. I I really loved that. That was great, <laughs> and just a um. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with the team. And for next week, it's supposed to be the 100th episode, which I'm super excited to see. Uh, I'm so excited for that. And let's see. What else? I don't know. I just... Oh, and the way Daisy said, my name is Sonara Smith. <laughs> so she's kind of borrowing stuff. And then um, I like how they're uh, starting to build on certain elements from past seasons, like the Beacon, Creole, and... Piper, they bring a, like a bunch of different people in to gear up for the hunter episode, and so it's when you, I think it's going to be super interesting what's going to happen next week. I cannot wait for it. And I think that's one of those videos. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? And are you excited for next week? Please let me know down below. And then also leave suggestions for any type of music, TV show, or movies you want me to check out. Um, I'll check it out, and if I like it, I'll do a review or a reaction for it, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video, which I'm doing a lot more of. Yay. All right, buddy.